Hello and welcome to Only Connect. And I've had a letter from a Joe Roberts of Dudley who writes, Dear Victoria, you always say in round three that the wall is super tough and very hard to break down. But I've been a professional builder for 37 years. Your wall is constructed using a stack bond where all the bricks are just piled up in aligning vertical columns and is structurally weak unless wire bed joint reinforcement is placed in every horizontal course. Such bonding is largely used decoratively. A really tough wall will be configurated using an English cross band with bricks overlapping. I like the quiz, but stop making bold statements you know literally nothing about. And before you think I'm just being sexist because you're a woman, Joe is a woman's name and I'm a woman too. Now I think about it, you make me sick. Yours, Joe Roberts. Well, thanks very much for that, Joe. Thanks for watching. And joining me tonight are, on my right, Michael Maybridge a York Minster tour guide who has slept through an African drumming concert. Sally Maybridge, an operations administrator who once texted all the details of a surprise party to the person whose birthday it was. And their captain, Tim Bridgestock, a digital productivity officer who once helped a stranger named Tim Bridge change a car tire. All members of the Bridge family, more or less, they are the Bridges. Tim, you lost your first game and you nearly lost the second one, but had this amazing round four where you were four points behind, dropped a point and still came back to win. How stressful was that? Yeah, I think it's fair to say we are here by the skin of our teeth, for sure. It was a brilliant round for you personally. I mean, that, it was a wonderful missing vowels group of, of birds. It was lovely, the brown booby, great tit, creamy rumped minor and the European shag. Are you a twitcher? Not personally, no. Well, you did very well in that round, and good luck doing well in all the rounds this evening. You. you will be facing, on my left, Paul Taylor, a data analyst who has visited 100 pubs in the past three and a half years. Ali Lloyd, a maths graduate who spent the night in a bath in order to see the band Godspeed You Black Emperor. And their captain, Katie Steckles, a maths lecturer who coordinated an international project to build a giant cardboard fractal from a million folded business cards. United by a passion for puzzles, they are the puzzle hunters. Katie, you had an incredible round one match, a, a brilliant score, but then your second game, you had a nightmare wall. What was the worst group on that wall for you? I think there was a group of kind of Irish singers and we sort of vaguely recognised it, but didn't quite put it all together. It was really frustrating. Welcome back, all of you. Lovely to see you again. Let's play the game. We tossed a coin and you won that, Bridges. You'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, the two reeds, please. Two reeds. You're going to be seeing a series of picture clues. What connects them? Time starts now. Children okay. of America. America. Uh, next, please. Okay, is it Kids of America? Could be. Which is uh, Kim Wilde, someone is it? Yeah. I don't Anyone recognise that them, no. the mm. Possibly fame, but I don't know. No, the 1980s number one. Next, please. Celebrations. That's, or are they that's miniature cool heroes? In the gang as well. Or are they heroes? Uh, are they are heroes. Uh, next, please. I think these are David Bowie songs. They are David Bowie singles. What are we looking at? Uh, so Rebel Wilson in the fourth clue, giving Rebel Rebel. Mm -hmm. Uh, the chocolates in the third clue are heroes. Yep. The second one is the TV series Fame. Oh, yeah. And the first one is supposed to indicate young Americans. You'll see they've got, uh, they got flags there. Well done. Puzzle Hunters, what would you like? Uh, the lion, please. The lion. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. OK, that's the Netherlands. <laughs> Get another one. Next. Got nothing. Mm. Get another. Get another. Next. Uh, oh, oh, so you, you replace it with the, the country with the capital. It's goodbye to Berlin, is it? Yeah. yeah, Amsterdam. Is it a TV oh, series? Yeah, it's a novel as well. And a film. Okay. And, and then novels. Gentleman in Moscow, I guess. So mm -hmm. if you replace it with the capital, they're all. Well, they're all titles. titles so they're probably of... novels. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we think that if you replace the name of the country with the capital of that country, uh, you get the title of a novel. Exactly right. You didn't need the last clue. Down and out in France and the United Kingdom. <laughs> Do you know the writers who wrote Amsterdam? Ian McEwan. That's Ian McEwan. A gentleman in Moscow? 
That's a book by Amor Towles. It was recommended by Bill Gates on his blog. He wrote this. It was quite sweet. Bill Gates said that he and Melinda often do a sort of book club where they read books at the same time. But he said the problem is when they were reading A Gentleman in Moscow, at one point I got teary-eyed, Bill Gates said, because one of the characters gets hurt and must go to the hospital. Melinda was a couple of chapters behind me. When she saw me crying, she became worried that a character she loved was going to die. I didn't want to spoil it, so I had to wait till she caught up. It's quite nice, isn't it? Sort of billionaire couple having this sort of book club. And uh, a goodbye to Berlin, Christopher Isherwood, and of course, uh, George Orwell in The Last Clue. Well done. Bridges, what would you like next? Uh, the water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Apri Brazil, 2006. Here might be. No. No. Next, please. New South Wales, 1851. Australia. Anyone? No. Next, please. Species, species. Are you? 1996. Oh. These gold rushes. I'm pretty sure the Yukon gold rush, I think, was probably about me. Yeah. I think. We think these are places where there have been gold rushes and the years they occurred. That is absolutely right. And I think you're even guessing there what might happen in the last clue. A little bit, yeah. It would be California in 1848. Well done. How much gold do you think has been mined in tonnes in history? How much gold? 50. No, it's 190,000 tonnes. Okay. About half of that's been used for jewellery. The rest, I assume, they wasted. But it, it, this is a good fact. If placed side by side, this 190,000 tonnes of gold would form a cube that would be 20 metres long on each side. So that is quite little, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, if you're a rapper, obviously that's no gold at all. <laughs> but a 20 metre square cube is not that big. That's all the gold that's ever come up. Well done. Puzzle Hunters, what would you like? Uh, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. The music question, what connects these lovely clues? Here's the first. Charlie, I'm pregnant. Living on Ninth Street. Well, maybe not. Maybe another one. Yeah. yeah. Next. 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 Seconds. <laughs> America. Not it, I'm afraid, but always worth a guess. Bridges, do you know? I think they're forms of communication. They are forms of communication. What did we hear? Uh, so the third clue was Telegram Sam by T Rex. And exactly. the last one was Letter from America by the Proclaimers. We also heard text from your ex, Tiny Temper, and the first one, Christmas card from a hooker in Minneapolis. <laughs> That's Tom, Tom Waits. Waits. Yeah. That's exactly right, yes. Or missives. Well done, you get the bonus. And what would you like for your own question? Uh, the twisted flax, please. Twisted flax. What connects these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Um, there's another camera card. I'm not going to begin with this, do you? Well, there isn't one. Oh. There aren't any. No. So there are only one films in the V. W, but it's not. It's true, Tungsten, yeah. It's W. Shall we go for that? There isn't a problem film with the thing that I can think of. One more. Okay. Next, please. Well, they certainly aren't any. Is it the only thing I think there's something? We've got to go for it. Yeah. I think these are letters that do not begin any of the, the category that follows. I can't accept that answer, I'm afraid. I'm going to show the last clue to the puzzle hunters for a possible bonus point. Yeah, we think that the letter doesn't occur in any of them in anywhere. that category. Anywhere. I'm afraid that's not it <laughs> either. You're all in the right area. It's that the letter only appears once. It's unique. You're right, it doesn't begin any of them, but that would be true of many letters. Y, B, Y, W. There are many letters of the alphabet that don't begin these things, but they only appear once. So, in which Bond film title does a B appear? Thunderball. Thunderball. Yeah. Chemical element, where is the W? This is a tricky one. It's in Laurentium. <laughs> London Monopoly properties. Oxford Road, or Street, or whatever Oxford it is. Oxford Street, yes, Oxford Street, and Z in the USA. Arizona. Arizona, Arizona that's right. 
no points there then, but one question remains. That's for you, Puzzle Hunters, the Horn Viper. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. OK, that's a thing. Something might have. That's like the square yeah. notches in and out. You know the one? Yeah. Next. These are all things that appear on the test card. Very well done. Yes, they do. You didn't need to see the last clue. Eight-year-old uh, Carol Hersey. Where do you see the red and blue castellations? Uh, on the left-hand side. <laughs> 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 yes, but they're round the edge, aren't they? Because it's black and white in the middle, mm. and there's colour, much like your own beautiful jumper. Lots of colours there. Bubbles the Clown, noughts and crosses are on the board, and the cross indicates the centre of the test card. And Carol Hersey who is the little girl in it, is the daughter of the person who designed it, and it's called Test Card F. What became of Test Cards A to E? We don't know. That's something for the real fans, isn't it, of the BBC, before they hit the big time with Test Card F. That means at the end of round one, the puzzle hunters have four points, the bridges have four points. <laughs> On to round two, sequences. What comes forth in a sequence? Bridges, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you like? Uh, the two reads, please. The two reads, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. That's um, the oldest guides. It's the guide alumni thing, the girl guiding. Um, yeah, no, it's triple guild, it's not going to okay. be. Okay. Next, please. I think these are probably um, <sighs> to do with coats of arms. <laughs> Okay, so heraldic stuff. Yeah, but I can't yeah. think of a sequence. Next, please. It, it, it's it's suits. It's suits of cards, isn't it? So card is hearts. Oh. It does all these clubs. So what are these? Two seconds. Digging implements. Is the right answer? We went with shovels. What is the sequence? Uh, they're alternative terms for the different suits in a pack of cards. Yeah, absolutely right. So trefoils and ornamental design looks like a club or the clubs in a deck of cards, lozenges for diamonds, hearts, and we're going in bridge order up to spades at the end. Well done. Puzzle Hunters, what would you like? Uh, Horned Viper, please. OK, what would come forth in this picture sequence? Here's the first. Is that some from, like, MASH or TV show? I don't know. Okay. Next. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Next. That is another person that I don't know who it is. It's presumably their names or something, isn't it? Well, you can pick a random uh, yeah. um. Two seconds. <laughs> yeah. um, a picture of Brad Pitt. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, that's not what it is. Bridges, do you know? A picture of George Clooney. That's not it either. It's Chesney Hawks. In the first clue, we're looking at the peace campaigner, Brian Hoare. Then the skateboarder, uh. Tony Hawk. Then the actor, Ethan Hawke, who has an E on his name, so it's Hoare. Then a K, then an E, and we want someone like Chesney Hawks. E-S at the end. It's just a word one. Bridges, what would you like next? The Eye of Horus, please. OK, the Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. It's quite recent, but... Next, please. Two, Stephen King, 1996, Horror Tale. Something like Pet Cemetery it must be around that time. Not certain, though. I don't know, sorry. Next, please. 3H Rider, Hank and History of Adventure. Let me come up with this. Oh, yeah, this could be a sequence. It could be Christine. Can you think of a sequence with Christine in the second <laughs> position? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two seconds. Next, please. For a film directed by Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't take that answer. Puzzle Hunters, do you know? No. <laughs> Well, there are various possible answers. The one we went with is for Jane Austen novel about Miss Woodhouse. 
whose surname is Woodhouse? Emma. 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 Well, that's right, yes. So, the numbers at the beginning refer to the number of letters in the title. That first one, it's the novel G that won the Booker Prize. It is the Stephen King tale. Uh. She is the Ryder Haggard novel, She, History Adventure. That's where we, we get the expression, she who must be obeyed. So we wanted a four-letter book title, for example, Emma. Puzzle Hunters, what would you like next? Uh, water, please. OK, the water question. What will come forth in this sequence is the first. OK, that's some, some places. Yeah. Next. Because Monaco is a really small country. Yeah. But it seems to be the other way around to the first mm. one. Don't we? Get one next. next. Okay. All valid countries. Parts of Switzerland speak German. The UK and Ireland. Not it, I'm afraid. Bridges, do you know? San Marino in Italy. No. Now, this is a simple geography one. We are looking at a map and we're going round France, mm -hmm. anti-clockwise. So mm -hmm. these are the countries that border mainland France. We're not counting the overseas territory. So Spain and Andorra, then Monaco and Italy, and we're going round anti-clockwise after Switzerland and Germany. We arrive at Luxembourg and Belgium. Those are the eight countries that border mainland France. Come on, I'm in the mood for more points. Let's get them. What about this next question, Bridges? What's it going to be? Uh, the lion, please. The lion. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. <laughs> Great start. Is he a, he's a TV presenter. Didn't he do uh, Dummy Fortunes or something like that? Maybe. I don't know. Next, please. Yeah. So who's doing it now? I don't, know, I don't think I've seen anything with Dennis did. Yes, Vernon, it is. Or Pedwick something like that. Possibly, or Vernon Kay. Okay, that does ring a bell. Do we want another one to see what happens? I don't think it's going to make any difference. Unless it's Vernon Kay, in which case, that's, then we don't have a guess, so... Go for it, yeah. yeah. Vernon Kay? That is not the answer, I'm afraid. <laughs> so we're going to show the third in a sequence to the Puzzle Hunters. Bob Monkhouse? The answer is Bob Monkhouse. And why? It's Family Fortunes presenters, but it's going backwards in time, I think. That's right. They are presenters of Family Fortunes going backwards. Put your hand up if you are familiar with Max Bygraves. <laughs> I don't understand. We had a, a, a programme earlier in the series where I was the only one of seven people who'd even heard of Max Bygraves. Actually, no. One other person, I said, how come you don't know? There's a picture on So how come you don't know Max Bygraves? And somebody on that team said, I think my grandfather might have had some <laughs> of his records. I didn't invent him, did I? I just imagine Max Bygraves. Les Dennis used to say, if it's up there, I'll give you the money myself. But it backfired. There was a time when uh, I think that the connection was uh, ways of toasting someone, and a contestant said, over a fire. And uh, 12 people had said that, so Les Dennis said he owed the person £12. We had a contestant, Katie McCorkindale, and we had a question. It was to do with Cluedo, and I think it was Dr Black, I think he's called, who's murdered in Cluedo. And I said, oh, yes, that's the person in Cluedo. And she said, and the person in Monopoly, Jacob Rees-Mogg. And I said, if they broadcast that, I will give you £100. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> and I said, do you want the money? She said, give it to the Fawcett Society. And I did. I paid up. Did you pay up, Les Dennis? I hope you did. And what about the last question of the round, the Twisted Flax? That's for you, Puzzle Hunters. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. No, about prizes or something. Yeah, it's ringing a bell. Should we try another yeah. one? Yeah. Next. <laughs> Next one. I don't know if we'll get it from two, yeah. Next. I mean, it's definitely Nobel Prizes, but... So I'll try, um, Mary Curie. Mary Curie. Chemistry and physics. Yes. Yeah. First, Marie Curie, chemistry and physics. Is the right answer. And why? Um, is it the most Nobel Prizes? Well, no, it's just multiple Nobel Prizes. There's people that have won it twice, and those disciplines going back in time towards the first person to win it twice, Marie Curie, in those disciplines. Well done. That means at the end of round two, the Bridges have six points, the Puzzle Hunters have seven.
For the puzzle hunters, that terrible moment has arrived. It is the connecting wall, but I'm sure it'll go better than last time. You can choose lion or water. Uh, water, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. OK. Storm and Cyclops yeah. are X-Men. And Colossus. Yeah. Havoc. Um, like Temple is in Dublin. And Temple and Mausoleum and, and Pyramid are all um, like death monument things. Statue? Statue? No. Oh, souls. Dover soul, lemon soul. Okay. Yeah. Rock soul, maybe? Yeah. Flounder? Mm. Rex. Try that with some of us. Hey, yes. There we go. Right, now. Careful. So grafter ending after and Toronto yeah. ending under. onto. Yes, nice. After, under, onto. And maybe pyramids are mid, so what would the other four be? Are they all monuments? Things that are stick they, upwards? Like, things that wonders of the world are or is one of them a lighthouse? Because you don't put yeah. a dead body in a lighthouse, do you? But... No. That's not yeah, they're not all placed in statue. But yeah, maybe the seven wonders of the world. We're going with that. Yeah. Can't think of anything else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, cool. they're kind of they're all on cliff edges. No, no, that's false. Is it, um, is it in any particular thing that these are, or is there a word? It's not a band called Mausoleum Family. No. <laughs> Solved the wall. Very well done. That's more cool, like it. And what about the connections? Colossus, Havoc, and so on. They are X Men. They are X Men. Rex, Rock, Lemon, Dover. All types of soul. Yes, they are. Toronto, flounder, and so on. These are words which end with a word which describes the relationship between two things, like onto or under or amid or is that after. A preposition. It is a preposition. <laughs> I wasn't really listening because I was thinking that may be my one chance in life to shout "It's all about soul" uh, during this quiz, <laughs> and I didn't take it, so I wasn't really listening. But I think someone muttered something about prepositions, which is the answer. And uh, the last group: temple, lighthouse, statue, mausoleum. And we think these are all things that are kind of of the uh, seven wonders of the world. They are ancient wonders of the world. Very well done. So after the nightmare last time, this time it is the absolute opposite. You have got the full ten points. Very well done. Let's bring in the bridges now, give them the other wall. It's the lion wall for you. Let's see how you get on with solving it. Your two and a half minutes start now. OK, we've got, so we've got Greek islands. We've got England all-rounders, um, ironically. OK. Um, so I, I can see Samos, Ithaca, Kos, Rhodes and Corfu. Are there any other Santorini. Greek? Is that Greek as well? I think so. What have you got on the all-rounders? Um, we have we Stokes, both um, Flintoff and... Grace. and oh, could be Grace. Or um, who else? Uh, um, I don't know, actually. Um, Naseby's obviously a, a um, civil battle. war battle. Mm, yes. Let's carry on with... But I did Grace last time. Is it oh, oh, there you go. Works. Flint off. We've still got. We've got um, um, cities in, in America as well. We've got so we've got New Haven, Connecticut, um, okay. Ithaca. Cambridge. I think we are we now down to five of these. I think so. Yeah. And the Samuses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, okay. It, it, it's three lives now. Is there a university okay. in New Haven? I think there is. I don't know what it is. Um, Could well be. And Harvard's in Cambridge. Okay. So you're thinking. I think we're going to Ithaca as well. As one, Ithaca. And what are we left with? I mean, could these be civil war battles? And well, the only one we particularly know. We've got up, over, round and off in oh, them. that's good. Yes. So it's sort of... So north, up, flint, off, Hanover and all-rounder. So no. Yeah. So Hanover is the other place. Up, up, over. Do you want to go back to your universities in... Because you said Tarbes, if you're in Cambridge. New Haven. Do you remember what we tried last I think. time? I did. Mm. And Ithaca and just one other? Yeah, yeah, we tried Naseby last time. What do you think? Hanover is a, a good choice for a place, but... Yeah. You've only got two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> You've solved the wall. Very well done. Now, what about the connections? Stokes, Rhodes, Grace, Botham? These are England cricketers. That's right. Can you tell me something else? They're all-rounders. They're all-rounders uh, okay, in well. England cricket. Cos, Corfu and so on. Greek islands. Yeah. It's Greek islands. They're simply Greek islands. And the next group, Cambridge, Hanover, New Haven, Ithaca. These might be 
American mm -hmm. university Locations towns. Locations of American universities? They are the sites of Ivy oh, League okay. schools, Americans would say, or universities, that's right. And the last group, Northup All Rounder, no, no, so no, on. They, they are, um, the words, words for direction in them. There is a particular word for the part of speech they are. Do you know what that is? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Should, should so know that. Well, they're prepositions, but these are all directional ones, up, under, off, by, so I will accept that. Meaning, you get all the connecting points as well. That is a total of ten. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The Bridges have 16 points, the Puzzle Hunters have 17. So it's very close as we go into the missing vowels round. Buzz with care teams, sadly, at the end of it, or perhaps happily for you, somebody is going home. I can tell you that the first group of disguised clues are all questions. Bridges. What's the capital of Denmark? Correct. Hunters. Why did the chicken cross the road? Correct. Puzzle hunters. Which hieroglyph would you like? Lovely. Bridges. Who let the dogs out? Well done. Next group are all answers. Puzzle hunters. Copenhagen. There you go. Bridges. To get to the other side. Yes, it is. Hunters. Two reeds, please. Well done. Bridges. Who, 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 who? Very good. Next category, pessimistic proverbs. Bridges. Too many cooks spoil the broth. So they say. Hunters. Better safe than sorry. Correct. Hunters. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Very good. Bridges. Out of sight, out of mind. Well done. Next category, optimistic proverbs. Puzzle hunters. Many hands make life work. Correct. Well, many hands might make light work, but sometimes it felt like it was just one person on each team were getting all of those. I mean, a brilliant round uh, for some of you, absolutely terrific. But looking at the final scores, after the close run thing, the winners with 24 points and staying in the competition are the Puzzle Hunters. Very well done. Bridges, you finish on 22. I am so sorry to lose you. I mean, you have just been clever and graceful under pressure throughout the series. Thank you so much for playing. I'm afraid it's time to go home. Thanks very much for watching. And coming up next on BBC Two, there's a change to the published schedule. The good news is it's Michael Portillo. Bad news is, unfortunately, Michael's been unable to make one of his wonderful travelogues this season due to travel restrictions. So instead, he's made a documentary about being stuck at home, unable to go anywhere. That's spending whole weeks in bed with Michael Portillo. Next on BBC Two.